hello out there welcome to this tutorial again on statistics in this video we'll be looking at grouped data where we'll be calculating mean using assumed mean or working mean so we take our first problem problem one use assumed mean of 35.5 calculate the actual mean of the distribution in the table below so we have the class interval and the frequency so now the formula for calculating mean using assumed mean is a which is the assumed mean plus summation of f into x minus a where a is still the assumed mean over summation of f we are going to expand this table to accommodate column x which is the mid value of every class interval and uh, x minus a then f into x minus a so we are going to create additional three columns so that is the first column here which is a uh, x then x minus a then f into x minus uh, a now we said for the x it is the mid value of the class interval to get the mid value of the class interval it is as good as adding the lower class interval to the upper class interval and then divide by 2 so 1 plus 10 is 11 divided by 2 gives 5.5 we go to the next class interval 11 plus 20 divided by 2 gives 15.5 and the next class interval 21 plus 30 divided by 2 gives 25.5 the next class interval 31 plus 40 divided by 2 gives 35.5 41 plus 50 divided by 2 gives 45.5 51 plus 60 divided by 2 gives 55.5 and finally 61 plus 70 divided by 2 gives 65.5 now we go ahead to fill in this column which is x minus a um, we have our x minus a our a is 35.5 so 5.5 minus 35.5 gives negative 30 then the next one is 15.5 minus 35.5 gives negative 20 then 25.5 minus 35.5 gives negative 10 and then 35.5 minus 35.5 gives 0 45.5 minus 35.5 gives 10 55.5 minus 35.5 gives 20 and finally 65.5 minus 35.5 gives 30 then we go to the next column that is f multiplied by x minus a for the first class we have a 2 times negative 30 which gives negative 60 the next class 6 times negative 20 gives negative 120 then 7 times negative 10 gives negative 70 and uh, 10 times 0 gives 0 11 times 10 gives 110 9 times 20 gives 180 and finally 5 times 30 gives 150 so we've gotten the required columns now we look for the required summation summation of f into x minus a this is the last column we add them so adding them negative 60 negative 20 gives negative 180 it goes with this and uh, negative 70 negative give us uh, 80 plus 110 that will give us 190 here 2 plus 6 plus 7 plus 10 plus 11 plus 9 plus 5 gives a uh, 50 we then substitute all this information into the formula so our a is 35.5 so we have 35.5 summation of f into x minus a is 190 that will be plus 190 divided by 
50 this is 35.5 plus 3.8 so 35.5 plus 3.8 gives 39.3 that gives the actual mean of the distribution represented in the table of problem one and that's the end of solution to problem one we go to problem two for problem two by using a working mean of 77 i have told us at the beginning that assumed mean is also known as working mean calculate the actual mean of the distribution in the table below so we have the table with class interval 51 to 55 up till night 1 to 95 so we have the frequency again we bring in the formula of calculating mean using the assumed mean so uh, we still need more columns that is the column for x column for x minus a and then finally column of f into x minus a now to get the x we said we are adding the lower class interval to the upper class interval then divide by 2 so 51 plus 55 divided by 2 gives 53 56 plus 60 divided by 2 gives 58 61 plus 65 divided by 2 gives 63 66 plus 70 divided by 2 gives 68 71 plus 75 divided by 2 gives 73 76 plus 80 divided by 2 gives 78 81 plus 85 divided by 2 gives 83 86 plus 90 divided by 2 gives 88 and finally 91 plus 95 divided by 2 gives 93 we go ahead to the next column in the next column we are subtracting the assumed mean from x so 53 minus 77 gives negative 24 58 minus 77 gives negative 19 63 minus 77 gives negative 14 68 minus 77 gives negative 9 73 minus 77 gives negative 4 78 minus 77 gives 1 83 minus 77 gives 6 88 minus 77 gives 11 and finally 93 minus 77 gives 16 so we are done with that column we go to the last column which is frequency multiplied by x minus f so we go ahead this is 2 times negative 24 gives negative 48 3 times negative 19 gives negative 57 5 times negative 14 gives negative 70 6 times negative 9 gives negative 54 7 times negative 4 gives negative 28 5 times 1 gives 5 6 times 6 gives 36 4 times 11 gives 44 and 2 times 16 gives 32. Now we carry out the necessary summation. So if you add up all these, we are going to have negative 176 and 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus 6 gives uh, 40 so that is 5 10 16 23 28 30 and 40 yeah that's 40 then we substitute into the formula so our assumed mean is 77 plus the summation of f into x minus a is negative 176 divided by 40 then we have 77 plus negative 176 divided by 40 will give us minus 4.4 and 77 minus 4.4 gives 72.6 that gives the actual mean of the distribution in the given table so we are done with problem two we go to problem three Problem 3. The table below shows the masses in kilograms 
of members in a sport club by choosing an appropriate assumed mean calculate the mean mass of the distribution it is important to note that in problems one and two the assumed mean for instance in problem one um, since mean is measure of central tendency it should be therefore understood that the mean cannot be uh, between 1 and even 30 neither can it be between 50 and 70 so since it is it should be between 30 and 50 if you look at the distribution it should be between 30 and 50 and it is based on that we selected our assumed mean to be between the expected mean of the distribution and as such the fact that it is 35.5 is closer to the mean therefore the deviation from the mean is positive like in the case of problem 2 if you look at the uh, deviation from the mean here it is negative that is the assumed mean was taken far away above the uh, actual mean that is why the deviation from the mean is negative so in problem three now we are expected to choose an assumed mean when we say an appropriate assumed mean we cannot choose any value that is outside this distribution to be an assumed mean meanwhile if you choose uh, between 40 and 49 you are going to your mean deviation is going to be very large and is positive and also if you choose between 90 and 99 your mean deviation is going to be a very large negative value therefore we should just look within the 60 and 79 and select our assumed mean so before we do that we quickly look at the table in a vertical form so we have uh, the masses which is the class interval and the frequency so we have uh, 40 to 49 50 to 59 60 to 69 up till 90 to 99 our frequency 6 8 12 14 7 and 3 so we said we sh are going to pick an assumed mean between 60 and 79 so i'm choosing assuming to be 72.5 so having picked that one to be 72.5 that is selected from here so our mean formula given the assumed mean is here we need to create additional three columns that is the column for x the column for x minus a and the column for f into x minus a so now we get the values of uh, x for the x column so 40 plus 49 divided by 2 gives 44.5 50 plus 59 divided by 2 gives 54.5 60 plus 69 divided by 2 gives 64.5 70 plus 79 divided by 2 gives 74.5 80 plus 89 divided by 2 gives 84.5 and finally 90 plus 99 divided by 2 gives 94.5 then we go for the next column x minus the assumed mean that is 44.5 minus 72.5 that gives negative 28 54.5 minus 72.5 gives negative 18 64.5 minus 72.5 gives negative 8 74.5 minus 72.5 gives 2 84.5 minus 72.5 gives 12 and finally 84.5 minus 72.5 gives 22 then we go ahead for the next column that is the frequency multiplied by x minus a that is 6 times 20 negative 28 gives 
negative 168 8 times negative 18 gives negative 144 and 12 times negative 8 gives negative 96 14 times 2 gives 28 7 times 12 gives 84 and 3 times 22 gives 66 then we carry out the appropriate summation that is the last column that is f into x minus a negative 168 minus 144 minus 96 plus 28 plus 84 plus 66 gives negative 230 and the summation of f 6 plus 8 plus 12 this is 20 40 and that will give us a 50 we then substitute into this so substituting our assumed mean to be 72.5 we have 72.5 plus the summation here is negative 230 over 50 negative 230 divided by 50 gives negative um, 4.6 so that will be 72.5 minus 4.6 which gives 67.9 as our actual mean of the distribution represented in the table of problem 3 and this is the highest we can go in this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it like and share this video remember to subscribe to our youtube channel also check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get links to other videos on statistics until i come your way again goodbye